Good morning, Jennifer. Let's start as we always do with the markets. Investors hoping for a better week after the Dow lost 179 points on Friday. The S&P and NASDAQ also falling in the red. But this morning, futures are down so far ahead of the open. Jennifer, what do you think investors can expect for this week? I'm sure their minds are just reeling. Right. Markets are doing what they're supposed to do when energy prices and commodities uh, soar. Uh, they're tanking, right? They're down for futures are down 400 points. This is the fourth consecutive week this is happening. And I think you can expect to see more of it. energy prices directly impact the stock market in this way. So I think they can expect that the market is going to continue to react as expected. Talk about just all the different factors that are causing the extreme change in this price. So the, the main factor is the Biden administration's energy policy. In 2019, thanks to the exploration on our lands and innovation, we became energy independent. That means we exported more energy than we imported. That was a wonderful, positive thing. And it helps bring peace and stability to the world. When goods and services cross borders, troops tend not to. And when the Americans are in charge of that, it actually benefits, net benefits the world. So what ended up happening is not only did President Biden shut down the pipeline, that is not the sole factor. He also has been leaning on investors to not put money into fossil fuel companies. At the same time, banks are seizing up capital to those fossil fuel companies, making everything more expensive for American consumers and American manufacturers. Worsening this is that they have no other plan. I mean, your guess right prior to this is correct. You cannot simply just wipe out fossil fuel on days and this endless push to electric cars. I mean, I don't mean to be mean to the Biden administration, but like, let's be a little big brain here. Electricity comes from coal. That is a fossil fuel that right. is under our ground. Like, what, what are we missing here? So I think it's extremely problematic. It is the Biden administration's policies, and it not only is hurting working men and women, it's not only going to hurt our manufacturing sector, but we now see what happens when America fails to lead on this front. It's Jen, dangerous and deadly. How much more can these oil prices rise? Where do you see it going? Well, I don't think there is a cap on it. I think when, you know, about uh, five years or so ago, they said, look, oil's down. It'll, ne you know, Russia left OPEC. It'll never go above $100 a barrel again. It's just not going to do that. Well, uh, the experts, as usual, were wrong. Now, you know, there's talk about releasing more of our, our strategic oil reserves. I think this is very problematic. Um, we're going to be releasing them simply to reduce prices. That's not what they're there for. It's there for in a time of crisis, in a time of war. And the problem is that we are so dependent on foreign oil, including from Russia, that this is problematic to run down our reserves. Because remember, you can't just tomorrow simply turn back on the pipeline, simply start doing this and expect you'll suddenly have a plethora of oil and gas flooding the marketplace. These things take time. Yeah. I think the, the Biden administration has put America in a terrible position. Certainly. Oh, thank you, Jennifer, for coming on this morning. Always so insightful. Thank you.